Hello, my name is Almut and I'm a member of a British uh, group called Biofuel Watch. The people who started off Biofuel Watch, including myself, are all climate change campaigners who came together at the beginning of the summer last year. We came together because we had all read very worrying reports about the impact that uh, the global biofuel expansion is having uh, specifically in rainforest nations. What we read about initially were reports from Indonesia and Malaysia which said that up to 20 million hectares of land in Indonesia alone may be converted to new palm oil plantations to satisfy the growing demand for biofuels. Indonesia is already, according to recent studies, the third largest emitter of greenhouse gases worldwide. It's the third largest emitter not because they burn heaps of fossil fuels, they don't, but because uh, their agroforestry sector is destroying the rainforest and is destroying the peatlands and is destroying thereby one of the world's most important carbon sinks, vastly accelerating global warming. Uh, we later on read that similar things are happening not just in Southeast Asia uh, but also in South America where the Amazon is threatened in particular by the growing uh, incursion of soya and soya is becoming one of the prime feedstocks for biofuels. Since then we have read reports that similar developing, uh, developments are happening really throughout Asia, Africa and Latin America. What we found out when we look further into the biofuel business is that there is a global blueprint, there's a global strategy supported by su certain scientists, institutions, a number of governments and also a number of northern based NGOs which supports a um, movement away from fossil fuels onto uh, bioenergy some of it for foresees replacing up to 30-40% of current fossil fuel burning with bioenergy and it foresees that happening to a very large extent from the expansion of monocultures, expansion of agribusiness, businesses particularly in the global south. All the studies expect that the tropical and to lesser extent the subtropical nations will provide the bulk of, the, uh, of Europe's and uh, the OECD countries' energy supplies. What that will mean, and what it's beginning to mean already, is the displacement of large numbers of local people, terrible impacts on food security, on human rights, uh, on, um, on, so on social equality, on the global local environment, on biodiversity, but particularly or most worryingly uh, for I think anybody on destabilizing the global climate. I think we have to be quite clear that if those plans go ahead we can see the demise of the Amazon. We will almost certainly see the complete destruction of Southeast Asia's peatlands and be together this will um, emit enough carbon into the atmosphere to give us a reasonable chance of a complete melt, eventual complete meltdown of Greenland and West Antarctica and impacts that will destabilize, um, destabilize uh, all life forms and all life systems across the planet. With that in mind, I would ask everybody to get together and think, look in detail at what the biofuel expansion is doing to the planet and how we can all get together and in our own countries become part of a global opposition movement to try and stop this destructive blueprint from being put into action.